Irokanji syndrome is a condition induced by venomization by the sting of Kayuki barnasi, a species of Irokanji jellyfish, and certain other box jellyfish. The condition is rarely fatal, but if immediate medical action is not taken, the victim could go into cardiac arrest and die. The syndrome was given its name in 1952 by Hugo Flecker, after the Aboriginal Irokanji people who live in Palm Cove, north of Cairns, Queensland, Australia, where stings are common. Early experience, in 1964, Jack Barnes confirmed the cause of the syndrome was a sting from a small box jellyfish, the Irokanji jellyfish, which can fire venom-filled stingers out of its body and into passing victims. To prove that the jellyfish was the cause of the syndrome, he captured one and deliberately stung himself. His son and a local lifeguard observed the resulting symptoms. Other cubozoans possibly can cause Irokanji syndrome, but only seven jellyfish are positively identified. Toxicity, when properly treated, a single sting is normally not fatal. However, two people in Australia are believed to have died from Irokanji stings, which has greatly increased public awareness of Irokanji syndrome. It is unknown how many other deaths from Irokanji syndrome have been wrongly attributed to other causes. The exact mechanism of action of the venom is unknown, but catecholamine excess may be an underlying mechanism in severe cases. Animal studies appear to confirm a relationship between envenoming and an increase in circulating noradrenaline and adrenaline. Symptoms Most stings occur during the summer wet season in October May in North Queensland, with different seasonal patterns elsewhere. Because the jellyfish is very small, and the venom is only injected through the tips of the nematocysts rather than the entire lengths, the sting may barely be noticed at first. It has been described as feeling like little more than a mosquito bite. The symptoms, however, gradually become apparent and then more and more intense in the following 5 to 120 minutes. Irokanji syndrome includes an array of systemic symptoms, including severe headache, backache, muscle pains, chest and abdominal pain, nausea and vomiting, sweating, anxiety, hypertension, tachycardia and pulmonary edema. One unusual symptom associated with the syndrome is a feeling of impending doom. Patients have been reported as being so certain they are going to die, they beg their doctors to kill them to get it over with. Symptoms generally abate in 4 to 30 hours, but may take up to two weeks to resolve completely. Treatment Similar to other box jellyfish stings, first aid consists of flushing the area with vinegar to neutralize the tentacle stinging apparatus. As no anti-venom is available, treatment is largely supportive, with analgesia being the mainstay of management. Antihistamines may be of benefit for pain relief, but most cases require intravenous opioid analgesia. Fentanyl or morphine are usually chosen. Pethidine should be avoided, as large doses are often required for pain relief and in this situation significant adverse effects from the pethidine metabolite nor pethidine may occur. Magnesium sulfate has been proposed as a treatment for Irokanji syndrome after being apparently successfully used in one case. Early evidence suggested a benefit. However, according to a later report, a series of three patients failed to show any improvement with magnesium. The author reiterated the experimental status of this treatment. Some preliminary laboratory experiments using the venom extracted from Marlow maxima on rat cardiovascular tissue in vitro has suggested that magnesium does in fact block many of the actions of this venom. Geographic distribution, reports of Irokanji syndrome have come from Australia, Hawaii, Florida, the French West Indies, Bonaire, the Caribbean, Timor-Leste and Papua New Guinea. Cuba zone species other than Kayuki Barnasi are presumed to be responsible for envenomations outside Australia. Media portrayals, a 2005 Discovery Channel program, Killer Jellyfish, portrayed the severity of the pain from an Irokanji jellyfish sting when two Australian researchers were stung. Another program aired on the Discovery Channel, Stings, Fangs and Spines, featured a 20-minute spot on Irokanji syndrome. In the segment, a young Australian woman was stung and developed a severe case. On the television program Super Animal, a woman compared her experience with Irokanji syndrome to the pain from childbirth. 
See also, list of cutaneous conditions, common kingslayer, jellyfish, cubozoa. References External links, Irokanji syndrome, report of successful treatment of Irokanji syndrome, Australian Venom Research Unit, Life in the Fast Lane, Irokanji syndrome, Life in the Fast Lane, Toxicology Conundrum Number 008, Life in the Fast Lane, Toxicology Conundrum Number 009, Life in the Fast Lane, Jack Barnes and the Irokanji Enigma.